What's going on everybody? It's Risky here. Welcome back to another episode of the Hunter Call of the Wild. Today, and uh, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. This is actually my second time recording this because the first time was just a complete waste of time in my opinion. Um, so, basically, what we're going to be doing is recently they updated the inside of this barn. I'm pretty sure it's recently. I don't know if you could do it before, but I just discovered that you can actually... I'll show you in a sec. I'm, it's... It's early right now. It's like four something in the morning. Let's see if I can pull my phone up here. Uh, it's five o'clock almost in the morning, um, and I gotta load my shotgun still. So, uh, I hope I didn't bring the wrong gun. That's not. I'm gonna have to go back and grab it. But as you can see, turn the light on here. I think you can get up on this one. Yeah. Well, apparently this is in the way. It's kind of glitched on this. But you can get up. Oh, on, what the I'll hell? These are, this one's different than the one over there. I re the last recording was over there. But basically, the point, I'm going to get up in this barn, and I'm going to try and hunt out of this barn. Instead of using a hunting stand or a hunting blind, we're going to try and sit up there or in here. Like, it can be in here. But I'm going to try and kill some animals while being inside this barn. It can be down here and stuff. It don't have to be just up there, but preferably up there because that's cooler. Um, but yeah, we're going to see we're gonna see what happens, so... Yeah, I'll catch up with you guys once something comes around, so keep you guys updated. Alright, so uh, I just wanted to show you, might as well, since I'm up here, this is kind of like my view. The other barn was a little bit better because there, there was like the opening right here, and I could see out in the field because there's a big field over there, and I have this field kind of here that I can look out at in here. But I've been calling for roe deer for like a minute or two now, but I just wanted to show you what my view is. Uh, the weapons I have on me today, let's get them out here. I got the 20 gauge shotgun. This is my new favorite shotgun in the game. This beat, this thing is so awesome. It just sounds so cool, and it's just, just an awesome shotgun. Double barrel 20 gauge shotgun, like what the hell? That's so dope. Uh, and I have the slugs in it today. Uh, and we also have the 7mm Empress rifle here uh, with the polymer tips, I believe. And it actually looks like we can drop down here. Oh, that was a fail. Alright, I just had a male, you've probably seen that pop up on the screen, I had a male fallow pop up there. I'm going to try and get back up here. Um, actually, I'm going to see, let's see the best angle I can sit at here. Uh, I probably should have brought, actually, I think I have my tent on me. Let's, or, uh, yeah, 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 let's do that. I don't know why I'm doing this, but we're going to put a tent up inside here real quick. This is, you definitely wouldn't be doing this in real life. <laughs> Putting a tin up inside the oh can you not? Bruh. What the heck? Alright, we'll put it right there for now. That's I don't know if that'll scare him away. But he was pretty close. It was a male fallow deer. We're gonna see what we can call that bad boy this way. Um already this is sparking up and being a lot more interesting than the other episode I tried recording, or the first time I tried recording this. So that could mean goodness. Alright boys, we have a roe deer. You can probably see it right there. I don't know if you can, I'll zoom in on it here. Uh, he just, he's just been creeping in. I don't know where the, uh, the fallow deer that called went. I didn't, I, I came out of the barn here, which is just right there. Um, I'm gonna move over to the other barn once we can, we're probably gonna try and get this guy here. Try and smoke him with the, uh, the 20 gauge real quick. He's actually in a pretty good spot there, so. Let's let him stop moving here in a second. We're gonna drop this guy. This slug will definitely end him real quick. Oh, it's so fucking good, dude. Oh my god, I love... It's just such a satisfying weapon to shoot. It's amazing. Oh, look. Where'd he go? Oh, right there. There's a the fallow deer. Okay, okay. Alright, let's hurry up and let's claim this dude. And I'm gonna get back up in the, the barn, because I'm pretty sure we actually have a view that in that angle if we're up in the barn I'm not too sure but uh, we'll definitely try all right look at this guy we'll see we got him right in the spine beautiful he's a silver two minor nice little buck here and uh, yeah it's a buck right uh, oh sh what's that right there oh it's fucking well all right okay I'm gonna try and uh, let's see if I can see him from here okay I'm gonna get back up in the barn and I'm gonna start calling for this guy See if I can bring him this way. Alright, so... You can probably hear him. I, I don't know where he is. I don't really want to move because this, when you're walking on this, it's quite loud. I'm going to try and call him over here. I'm pretty sure it's that fallow deer. Let's see if we can get him out here in this opening to where I can get a shot from him. Shot on him. Uh... 
don't know which way he's going. It's like he's going that way. Got some geese coming over as well. We have bird shot on us, so we can definitely pop some shots at them if we get the chance. But this, he's like right in here. I'm gonna go prone. Oh my god, he's like right there, dude. He is right outside this barn. He's, he, dude, if he comes in here, I'm gonna flip out. If we can get in that opening there, too, that'll be good. Oh, there he is right there. Oh, my God. Look at him. He's coming in. <laughs> oh, boys. Yo, dude. We got him. That was awesome. Dude. Wow. That is that is so cool. That's fucking dude. That's a cool challenge there, barn hunting baby. Hell yeah. And it's starting to rain. I think yeah. Look at this guy. It's kind of glitching through, but what a nice fucking fallow deer here. So basically, the story behind this guy, I got out of the freaking blind or the the barn I should say. Um, shot that road deer. I seen him running off. Got up in here. Called for him for about four to five minutes. And I heard him, and I called you guys. I hit you guys up, and y'all y'all was watching. And he ended up coming inside the barn. That's insane. So look at this guy. He's a nice silver. I'm sure if we could have got that integrity bonus, he might have... Uh, what is he? Uh, he's a four easy. He might have been a gold if we had the integrity bonus at 100%. But got a right lung, the spine, and the liver on that shot. The freaking... The 20 gauge slug, guys, is a beast. I haven't tried it against uh, the Cape Buffalo or anything yet, but it is a freaking powerful, powerful little beast. I have a 20 gauge in real life, um, and it's a little beast too, but this one is awesome. Um, but yeah, there we go. I'm going to see if I can get anything else to come up in here. If not, we'll move it to the barn that is actually right over there. I'll show it to you. You can probably see it with the binoculars. Maybe not, though. Uh, I don't think you can actually. It's over the hill. Oh, yeah, you can. Right there. We're gonna be over there if we can't call anything else. So I'll catch you guys in just a second. All right, we're here at the other barn. As you can see, this one doesn't have that weird like wagon in the way. So this is the view I wanted to give you. I just want to show you like what I can see, or you kind of know my area, my situation. I can see out this way. Um, I, uh, last time I tried recording this, I had a, I believe it was a fallow deer. Uh, a female, and like a couple female fellow deer come out of there and I shot one and uh, that's why there's a little bit of hunting pressure here. You can kind of see out this way. Um, you can see through some of the cracks. It doesn't have like a big opening on the side like the other one does. Um, you can see out that way if you come down here and you can see up that way. So, yep, that's the view and I'm going to see if I can call some stuff in. If I can't, then I'll end the video. If I can, then boom, bang, pow. Well, actually, um, right there, you can probably see it through the woods a little bit. I don't know if you can. But basically, right behind my character is where we first um, where we first shot the fallow deer out of. Right behind that, and that little patch of woods that the fallow deer came out of, there's another barn. So, uh, you know, might as well go sit up in it. So, I'm going to park the four right up here, and I'm going to go climb up in there and check it out. And this looks like a very nice area to be hunting. Um... I seem I feel like a lot of animals come out of here. Maybe even some bison. This looks like bison territory. So I'm gonna hop up in here and check it out. All right, so we're here at the barn finally, and just over there in this uh, grass, there was some uh, poop on the ground from a roe deer. I think it was a female roe deer. I don't know. I don't think it tells you that. I wasn't paying attention. Um, but the droppings for from just now. So I'm just gonna sit up in here and try and call for that roe deer. See if I can bring it out here and pop it with the 20 gauge or the 7 millimeter, whichever one. Probably the 20 gauge. The 7 millimeter is just a little much for the the small little road deer. So, uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. All right, well, uh, that's probably about it for today's video. I don't know. Uh, I'll probably put some. I might move. I'm a little bit. Sorry, I'm just rewinding. Uh, I might put some more clips um, in here of like me hunting, but not like actually. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. But uh, if you did enjoy the video and want to see another episode of Barn Hunting, probably what I'll call this little, not series, but this kind of, this kind of video, I'll call it Barn Hunting. Um, but if you did enjoy it, let me know in the comment section down below. 
Let me know if you want to see anything else, any kind of challenge, any kind of... Uh, yeah, any kind of challenge, anything for this game related or anything, any other kind of game. Uh, let me know in the comment section. Leave a like on the video if you have not already. Subscribe if you have not already. And uh, it's been your boy Risky, and I'll catch you in the next one. Later.